Hi, this is your host, Sapna Bhartia, and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us Gabe Kangas, maintainer of OwnCast. Gabe, it's great to have you on the show. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me. So let's start with the mother basic. Tell me, what is OwnCast? What is the history and the story of this project? Why was it created? Yeah, like a lot of uh, fantastic and creative ideas, uh, OwnCast is a, uh, a part of, of the pandemic story. Um, when people started streaming online more and more when they were stuck in their homes, I started hearing more and more nightmare stories about people getting kicked off of different services and them kind of being held hostage and their content being owned and controlled by these third party services. And I really thought, you know, why isn't there a live streaming platform that people can control and, and operate and, and own and customize themselves? Uh, just like you can run, you know, your own copy of WordPress for your blog, why can't you uh, run your own live stream? So that's kind of the, the, the core story behind it. Wanted to give people the, the control and the, um, the, the way to operate their content that they just didn't have before. Talk a bit about uh, the benefits that you offer vis-a-vis putting it on some streaming platform, you know, number one. Number two is that people should like, you know what, I am willing to bear this cost but because ownership is more important than the time I'm investing there. Yeah, so um, it's, it's a very real trade-off. Um, like you said, there, there are things like installation costs that are, is not financial, but it is um, time. Um, you might have to learn something new. You might have to understand how to provision a server for the first time. Um, but that's why, you know, with, with OwnCast, um, as much as possible, we're trying to make it as easy as possible and, and making it easier every day. So uh, things like partnering with hosting providers and allowing these one-click installs is super important for us. So you can, you know, sign up with Linode or DigitalOcean or Vulture and just go into their marketplace and say, give me a server that's already running OwnCast. And they will provision that for you. And then you just pay your, your monthly hosting fee um, and you're, you're good to go, which I think that type of workflow makes it way easier for, for people who don't really want to think too much about it. Um, then they're able to kind of like gradually you know, learn because someday they're they're going to have to update it. So you know, then they have to read the documentation and and, and figure those things out. But um, getting people in the door super important, um, and and we're working on making that easier uh, all the time. So as it stands, you can get Owncast up and running and streaming in about a minute. So that's you know about as good as you can get as far as is you know trying to make it easy for someone who doesn't really know um, anything about the software or about a server. So yeah, it's, it's, that, that trade-off is real, but um, people like us who, who write free and open software can you know, do our best to try to make it approachable for, for everyone. So talk about the importance of these hosting providers so that you get better both words, you get to use open source software that you have full control over. Then you also choose the provider that you believe in or you trust. So talk about the importance of uh, hosting providers, how they further democratize uh, access to these technologies. Yeah, I, I think the, uh, the growth of these kind of one-click marketplaces that um, hosting providers have been starting to offer their customers has, has just been a, a huge uh, boom for for everybody really um, from a open source uh, developer standpoint it puts our software in front of people that may have never seen it before um, I know I will browse through some of these these marketplaces and be like oh that that app looks cool oh I should try that one out and then it's a win-win because everyone that I do try out the uh, the hosting provider is is getting another customer or or you know, getting another $5 a month or, or whatever it is. 
Um, so it's, it's really kind of a win-win-win. It's easy for a, a user to install it. It's easy for the, the developer to get it in front of people. And then it, you know, it drives demand for additional um, hosting products from, from the hosting provider. Um, so I really look forward for this, this type of pattern to continue growing over time. Um, you know, some of the providers that, that I mentioned, uh, Linode and, and DigitalOcean and Vulture, they've, they've all been doing a really great job. And I look forward to seeing more of these companies doing something like that because there's, there's almost no downside. Um, everybody wins and um, it makes it really easy for people to try new software. You know, even as an experienced person such as me, I use these marketplaces because, you know, if I can just install something real quick by pressing a button, um, why not? So, you know, why put more effort into it than I have to? These these are great. So, yeah, really looking forward to this uh, continuing to grow and um, everyone who's who's been taking advantage of it so far. Um, I think as one. You want to be neutral. You want to be uh, as unbiased as possible. But if I ask you that, if you, I ask you, hey, I want to run my own stream using Owencast, what kind of things I should look at when I pick a hosting provider? Yeah. So, um, you know, the, the nice thing about running your own software is you can make decisions that are, are catered very specific to your needs. Um, so there's a, a whole scale of, of options and um, you know everything from some people run an owncast server from their homes, just using their their home internet. They put it on a Raspberry Pi, and they stream to a, a handful of their friends, and that works great because you know what their expectations and what their use case is is compatible with you know that very specific type of of install. Um, where on the other side, if you are running you know a big event and you're going to have you know any number of viewers you might you know want to offer you know many more different qualities of video for different types of networks and for mobile and because of that you'll want something that can um, have a lot more cpu power so then going to a commercial hosting provider makes the most sense and there you can say you know i want to pay x dollars a month and um, then you would get provisioned the CPU power that that uh, matches that. So then you can configure your own cast to say, okay, I have this much CPU, so I'm going to offer this to my viewers. And um, Owncast um, specifically has a pretty cool uh, option where you can configure an S3 object storage provider in it. So if you are concerned about how much a local bandwidth you're using, whether it's in your house or in a hosting provider, uh, you only have so much bandwidth to work for. So instead of using that bandwidth, you can actually off, um, offset your, your own costs by putting that video on a storage provider and then having your viewers pull it down from there. So something like you know S3 storage is going to be significantly cheaper at large scale than um, getting the bandwidth directly to your own server. But, um, you know, most people don't have that use case. Most people kind of know oh, I'm going to have, you know, 30 viewers. Um, and in that case, you know, your the, the bandwidth allocated to you from your hosting provider is, is probably enough. But on the same hosting provider, uh, most of them do offer object storage. And you can say, well, I'm willing to throw another $5 a month at the problem to make sure that bandwidth isn't an issue. And that's another benefit of going to a commercial hosting product because they can offer you more services such as object storage. You initially mentioned three names, you know, Linode, DigitalOcean, Vulture. The, the hosting space is a very, very crowded space and they're all kind of players. And my question was more or less uh, was to help your users to pick the right hosting provider. So once again, without giving any names or taking any sites, if you can say, you know, if you want to put own cost on, 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 you know, any of these, these are the five things you should look at. So what are the things that, you know, people should look at when they're picking a provider? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you, you have a very specific use case and own cast, is that a very specific use case? Um, 
I, I recommend doing what I do. I, I see what other people are using and what other people have had success with. Um, and that's why on the OwnCast website, we do document, you know, here's a handful of providers that people have had success with because, you know, we don't want to waste your time with trial and error. We just say, hey, if you don't have any other preference, maybe you should try out one of these three because they work great. You know, just just answer the question for you directly. Um, you know, if you are a more technical person or you have a preference to a hosting provider already, yeah, absolutely go go use it and uh, see how it goes. But, uh, you know, things like video delivery is a very specific use case. Um, and video transcoding um, is very specific and it's, it's different than just, um, you know, serving some PHP files, right? It's, it's, it, it, so um, knowing which providers um, might work for you is, is, you know, answering that question upfront in documentation and, and as a user reading that documentation, I, I think, you know, answers the questions most of the time. Um, and because of that, people do just kind of use the providers that we recommend because, you know, with these one-click marketplaces, we can say, hey, just go over here and press install and, and you'll be good to go. And we know it's going to work because other people are using it. So, yeah, just um, I think word of mouth and recommendation, I think, goes a long way, especially on the Internet where people blog about things and, and talk about their successes and failures and, and share it. Are you talked about video encoding, all those things. Does that also uh, mean that, uh, I don't know how much roles, uh, a lot of providers are now of also offering GPU. Does OwnCast also leverage those technologies or you can do everything purely from CPU? Yeah, so OwnCast does support GPU accelerated encoding. However, um, that is a very niche use case because of exactly what you were saying. Um, if you are in kind of a, a normal budget tier uh, hosting platform, you are probably not going to have access to GPU hardware. So you, you have to pay substantially more to do that. So, you know, we assume out of the box that you are using GPU or sorry, CPU based encoding. However, um, if you are somebody who wants to run an own cast server from home, and you have a you know a, a a rig with a GPU in it, or even a Raspberry Pi that actually has a video encoding chipset built into it, um, you can kind of flip that switch in OwnCast, get significantly better performance, and kind of open up your options because uh, because you're using the GPU. So you do have both options, and GPU enc encoding is is awesome if you have access to it, but. Uh, with owncast we don't assume that, you, that you're going to what are the use cases where it's ideal where people are like hey you know what i want to stream so owncast is the perfect solution for me and number two is if you can share some use cases or some examples where people are success successfully using it and they have built a great audience for themselves yeah so owncast works really uh great in one of two camps and and one is the the really obvious one that's kind of like the twitch replacement where you're looking for that out of the box chat interface or the web player where anyone just shows up and they they take part in the stream and uh there's been a lot of really creative people who've been streaming things using owncast with with that mindset um everything from uh, a film festival I saw use uh, OwnCast, which I thought was very cool, an independent film festival. Um, a lot of musicians and, and DJs stream content on OwnCast, so that's that's awesome. They got the chat, and and it's it's a interface that's very familiar if you've ever used Twitch. Um, on a less than pleasant note, uh, due to COVID, there are two families that I'm aware of that have actually live streamed using OwnCast um, funerals because it's it's private and they can keep it you know internal and they know who they're giving that invite out to and they didn't feel comfortable doing something like that with Twitch or, or Facebook or Instagram for obvious reasons. So owncast um, allowed them to do something that they couldn't do that was very important to them at a you know really lousy time. Um, 
on the flip side of having that that chat and the the web interface and the player, um, organizations use owncast as a piece of their infrastructure for larger projects. So companies such as uh, Okta and Siemens have used owncast to uh, power their developer events. So they can embed the video player into things that they're already using and pages that they already have built, um, apps they already have built. So you can build something, put it in the app store and use the owncast video feed to power your application. Um, that has been really useful to people. So um, there's kind of a, a spectrum that goes from, you know, individual streaming, you know, their their small creative endeavors to a large corporation who wants to just add live streaming to, to things that they already have built. And it, it seems to work for people um, regardless where you fall on that, that spectrum. Gabe, thank you so much for taking time out uh, from your schedule and talk about, uh, you know, uh, own cost. And I look forward to talk to you again, because as you mentioned, there are so many things in the pipeline. So I'd love to keep an eye on that. Thank you. Yes, thank you for having me.